Yeah, water. Uh, no, I really like looking at the um, at the the way uh, where you walk up and check in. It, it just you can just see the ghosts everywhere because it's there's all these empty slots and you just feel like they were constantly filled and unfilled, and filled and empty. And it's, it's fun to see. I, I I really see movement there when I look at it. it doesn't look vacant and you know this is an abandoned building for those watching who don't know but you can it's like looking at a chessboard or something where there's movement even though the pieces are staying still and that's what I see when I see where all those keys were supposed to go it's really I think I should take a picture of it before I leave yeah, yeah. does that add to the vibe when you're in a place like this I know you've recorded albums in hotels and you guys have kind of situated yourselves in cool places does that add to what you're doing yeah. Uh, yeah, of course. I mean, that's the energy of the place is the energy that fuels you while you're, while you're doing what you're doing in it, whether it's recording music or whether it's, uh, whether it's performing in a video. It's the energies around, around you that are getting inside of you and, and moving you, so. So, yeah, I mean, hopefully we'll make a pretty, like, uh, pretty like ghost ghost oriented video you know I hope I hope it's like a, I, I hope it's I hope it's filled with the energy of, of ghosts <laughs> do you enjoy the performance aspect of videos you've done a number of them do you, do you get a kick out of doing the work doing the performance part of it uh, it's fun it's always surprisingly tiring I'm always like okay this one I'm, I'm not going to jump around too much and then I, I go crazy, so it's, 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 um, but yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. It, the performance part is fun, is really fun. I especially like it when I'm doing it with, with the other guys in the band. When you're by yourself, it's, it's a different feeling. I mean, I can do it, but it's, it, it's, uh, it's extra exciting when there's people to work off of. And talk about this song. This song's going to be on these greatest hits, going up against some of the greatest hits. Is that daunting, putting a new song together that's going to be on an album with the best of? Do you think about things like that when you're compiling this stuff? Yeah, we think about everything, but we were contractually obligated to give them two new songs, and in my opinion, we didn't even give them the best two songs of the session, but that's... these. One of them was the song they wanted, and the, they just... They said they only wanted to release one single, so we had to take the other song that we thought could be a good single and we're going to save it for our next record and we just put a song that we feel is a great song but at the same time couldn't be a single because they only plan on releasing one single so so yeah so that's that's the way that worked out um i feel fine about it i mean these days people put greatest hits on uh people put extra songs on greatest hits just as a selling point to people who already have the uh, the rest of the material but we also put some other nice things in the package, like uh, pictures that, pictures that are great pictures that I haven't seen in ten years, you know, or um, good pictures from the whole, from the whole history of of my being in the band, and uh, and so those are nice, and and uh, there's some liner notes that Flea and I wrote, and and those are nice. I wrote a little about my experience with radio and the different ways that it's been important to me throughout my life and at the same time uh, advising people to find out about music in other ways other than radio uh, and other than TV, you know, <laughs> like asking cool people what music they like or, uh, or, or uh, you know, look, buying records because of the cover or finding out who the musicians you like 
what musicians they like and mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Do you enjoy the process of looking back? Seems like you enjoy those processes of being able to do the liner notes and look at the photos, but doing this kind of forces you to kind of look back over the years. Is that enjoyable generally, or is it something you don't tend to do normally? Uh, I've 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 gotten past the point in my life where I'm looking over the the my past. I've I think I, it was probably all I thought about um, around just before you know a few months before I joined the band again. I was very uh, bitter about the past and very regretful and very uh, I I just I so badly wanted to. Uh, I so badly wanted to live in, in an alternate uh, fate to the one that I had developed for myself. I wanted to live in a fate where I had made different decisions earlier in my life and where, uh, where things would have winded up differently. And I wanted to be that John Frusciante and I didn't want to be the John Frusciante that I was. And, um, and as soon as I joined the band, and like, you know, yeah, as soon as I joined the band again, I started to all of a sudden get this feeling like like this this was the fate of the John Frusciante I did want to be and I had always seen all these pictures in my head of of the way my life could have been and all of a sudden I was realizing wait those pictures might be the way things are going to be they were the way things are going to be and at that point I started getting pretty excited and we started writing all that music for Californication and stuff and it you know for for me Ever since that experience, I stopped reflecting on the past. Now, if I do, it's just in a you know nostalgic kind of way, like seeing these pictures. All oh, that, that was a fun time, you know, or whatever, you know, or, or what an asshole I look like in that picture, you know. It, it, it's, uh, it, you know, I, I can I can look at it a lot less. Um, I don't have to be. I don't have to to be so serious about it. I it, I can look at it as if it was what it is a, a a a past which can't be altered. You know, which is before I used to always think of the past. I used to try to figure out ways of changing the past, and I I actually spent a lot of time trying to do this. And um, and now I I just do my best to to uh, to do what I can to make the future good and by. Uh, do what I can to, to change the present in a good way and to always try to do something different and surprising. Mm -hmm. And make some of the best music of your career. That's great. Put into words what you think the chemistry is, you four guys, and why this works so good. If you can, as to why things are better than ever, it seems like for you guys. Mm. Well, we just have a good thing together, you know. It's, it's not the kind of thing anybody really understands. It's just, but it's the kind of thing that... Uh, that when when you appreciate it, it's and when you really see it for what it is, you just feel really thankful to be in that position of of uh, being with three other people who who you gel so good with, and and uh, you know there's there's really not much you can say about it. You know, we we all we all are very different as people, and we all aren't afraid to be ourselves. And I think. I think that's it's a big part of it, you know. I, I don't think you could get this kind of musical chemistry in a situation where one person is uh, dominating the other people. You know, it's it's got to be a situation where each person feels free to, and comfortable to be themselves and to to follow whatever pa paths of ideas they get the other people make it possible for them to see those things through and you know to to me that that's the sort of thing that that helps you know keep things going in a in a situation like this um you know we're definitely not perfect all the time but we you know on the last album i definitely had times where i felt like very separate from everybody else and where i might have been uh dominating situations more than i should have been but um, but you live and you learn, you know. At, at the time, that's not what it felt like. But but looking back, I think I was being a little too headstrong. 
but I come by it honestly. My, my father was a little ar Armstrong. My mother was a little headstrong. <laughs> The Headstrongs married the Armstrongs <laughs> when Darkies were born. But a claim for you personally where people were saying so many good things about your work on, from the vocal harmonies to your guitar work to your writing, a lot of it directed towards you. How much of that did you appreciate where people were kind of singling you out and saying just how much you contributed to that way in, in the new music? At the time I didn't really agree, but looking back I guess it's true. L looking back, listening to it, I can hear that especially because of the large amount of backing vocals, that, that you notice me a lot on it. But I think Flea probably wrote a lot more than people imagine he did, you know. I, I think we still wrote half and half as far as the music. I'm not sure, I've never added it up, but you know, I think he wrote a lot more than people think he did. Yeah. Oh, okay. I need you.